Hello you and welcome back to some kind of fox content and welcome back to last broadcast where we work as a radio station host at the end of the world. Well, we don't work at the end of the world, but it is the end of the world because the sun is swelling up and consuming us all. But that is not going to keep us from play, playing some nice tunes, if I could say it. So hello you and welcome to last broadcast. Oh, the fire stopped. That's good. Oh, we already got a caller. Hello. Like that last song. We're still live and still taking calls. We're live with Smack Local. This is DJ. Please say. Hey. Can I request a song? Y- y- yeah, if if you can help, or if you can choose from like five records. Come on. It's the end of the world. I want something to dance to. Well, that's a good good way to go out. Okay, something to dance to. Shake your booty. Um, one thing I should say is I don't think this episode is going to be as long as the last one. I think actually we are rather close to the end. Um, but I don't know. <coughs> Let's see here. Beat Zombie. That sounds like something to dance to. See, now W, w and S doesn't work. I can do this. Why doesn't this work now? Hello. Let me try again. Nope. So, uh, Saint Electric. Or Fading Colors. I wanted to listen to that. Or Beat Zombie. No, Saint Electric. Let's go with that one. That sounds like a dance thing. There we go. Nope, nope. Play the... Play. Yeah, that's some dance music right there. Let your hair loose! Woo! Can Hello? I, ask I can ask you something, right? Y- you asked for a song That's and I answered. Good. Last time I checked, being a dispatcher isn't part of the job description. Why are you doing this? Well, I'm kind of stuck here. I don't talk about myself on the air. Well, not true. Okay. I'm trying to make some good radio. Um. Yeah, it's the only thing I can do. Right thing to do, that just sounds pretentious. It's my job. No, it isn't. It's the only thing I can do. Well, I also get to dance, so it's not that bad. To be honest, it's the only thing I can really do here. The show must go on. Yes. It's the nice way to go before the sun burns everything to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If that's what you think. Why are you giving me an attitude? You know, I've been grilled by you for a couple minutes, but I never got your name. It's Lyra. All right, Lyra. Time to answer some of my questions. Oh, <gasps> now it's getting dark. Ask about her outlook. What are her plans? Yeah, what are your plans, huh? How are you going to celebrate the consuming sun encroaching on us? What are your plans for the end of the world? I mean, sit on the couch and watch the sun get bigger. No, 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 welfare. That. Come on, there's got to be more. I don't know. Stare. The sun looks kind of cool right now. I think it looks kind of warm. Ha! Huh? Did you get it, Lyra? Um, shelter from what? The sun? This isn't a question of, oh, you should get, get in the shade. It's consuming us. Where do you want to find shelter? I question those plants. You make it sound like it's just a regular day. What's the point in making this day any different? It's not like there's anything I can do about it. Yeah, well, true. Is this advice for the audience? If they want to take it, they can. Lyra, we should be going somewhere with this. There's one thing I'm currently missing. And that is? Brain cells! Oh. I know you didn't just call the talk. What do you mean? I just wanted to listen to the song. Did you like the song? That's not what I meant. Why of all times would you want to call this radio station? See, this is a me thing. Even when I'm thrown hate, I will start off being empathetic. But, uh... No, I'm gonna stay true to myself. I'm genuinely trying to help here. Hello? 
Hello? Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Oh. I think I'll take a look at that sun again. Yeah. You're not gonna answer my question? I'll leave my answer for later. That well... You plan on calling back then? We don't have much later. If the feelings come to me again, sure, I might. Well, looking forward to talk to you again, Lyra. Oh gosh, it's all calls right now. Jim. How, are How did going? you know it was Jim? How are you doing? DJ, it's good to talk to you again. How are you? Same as ever. Spinning in my chair. Me. It's been a while since we last heard from you. <laughs> I'm afraid oh. my life isn't as radio-worthy as you seem to think. Nonsense, Lieutenant McGrady. Um... No, he doesn't need us worrying about him. Let's just say we're happy to hear from him. But I also like hearing what you have to say. That is... Thank you, DJ. Exactly. I appreciate it. Of course. That being said, <laughs> yeah, I'm but... the listeners, please be my guest. Sorry, Jim. Well, I suppose there's been one new development. As of an hour ago, I Oh, you quit your job team. because I told you to. Whoops. Uh Have you told your family yet? Have you told your family yet? I handed in my resignation letter earlier today. The captain was very understanding. You're welcome. I just got off the phone with my wife. Is your wife the captain? I'm finally going home. I'm finally going to see my boy. Oh, that's good. I bet he can't wait to see you too. Or is this going to bring up the fact that he was gone a lot? Is this going to be like, oh, remember that? No. I bet he can't wait to see you too. Thank you for all your help, DJ. I'm not sure I would have figured things out if I hadn't talked with you. Buddy, I didn't do anything. It was all you. Yeah. Don't be so humble. Even my wife agrees. She was listening to your show, you know. She's grateful too. Please tell her I was glad I was able to help. But damn, I managed to turn your whole family into fans. I'm honored. Bet your son listens to me all the time, too. Has my merch and everything. <laughs> Unfortunately, my wife and I also agree that Jason is too young to be listening to you swear. Please watch your language. That's what I've been trying to say! Hey now, give me an adv advance notice and I'll host a PG show just for him. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. That's too bad. I don't want to say that's too bad because that sounds like, oh, he's missing out. I wish I could meet him one day. He sounds like a great kid. I just don't want to say that that's too bad part. No, this just sounds again a little pretentious. I wish I could meet him one day. He sounds like a great kid. That's too bad. I wish I could meet him one day. He sounds like a great kid. I'm sure we can figure something out. How about this? Next time I call, I'll have my son with me. My wife might want to drop in too. As great as that sounds, I can't make any promises. Besides, you shouldn't be wasting your time on someone like me, Jim. Hurry home to your family. I'm yeah. Yes, I'll be on my way now. Thanks again for everything, DJ. Goodbye. Nothing to thank me for. Talk to you later, Jen. Okay. Oh, we got another call already. But we're, we're radio station. We don't even have time for the songs. Also, that isn't going to help a lot. I mean, it's gonna do something, but it's not Aww, okay. Oh, he's reunited with his family. Ah, Lyra. Glad to hear from you again. I'll just spin in my chair. What gives you the right to let him go? What do you mean? No, I don't need to defend myself. 
I'm just gonna be distant. What do you mean about that? I don't have to justify my actions. Exactly. I did what I thought was best. Fine. All right, then let me ask you this, because I've been wondering. Well, I am kind of a wonder. Huh? <laughs> Shit. No, please don't. Do you regret anything? Anything you wish you did? Go to the Bahamas. Finish bucket list. Yeah, well. Be a better person. No, don't go with the pretentious one. Nothing. That also sounds like I regret nothing. Oh, I should have finished my bucket list. That Bahamas, you know? I have a bucket list. Like, climb my Everest. Oh, we all got that one. Be creative sure. here. That's so generic. Yeah, exactly. Just what I said. I'm serious. <laughs> Who wouldn't have regrets right now? And that's okay. I asked you specifically. Details. I told you Mount Everest. People always talk about it being a life-changing experience and a challenge to climb. Plus, it's a nice story to tell. Brings you closer to the sun. The oh, wait. Are pretty cool. <clears throat> Shame will never see snow anymore. At least you don't have to deal with the line to get to the top. Or the trash. Huh. What type of this gloomy base? <laughs> it's a hard time right now. That doesn't mean you have to act this way to other people. What did I even do to you? Is this really something we want on the air? Why are we giving her the time of day? No, no. She had her chance with my empathy. Now I'm gonna be assertive here. I'm gonna say, Lyra, we need to talk. What is your deal? You really want to do this on air? That's what I just said! It'll make great radio. No, it won't. WBXR. One year ago. Do you remember? Uh, that's either a radio station or a science project we were working on. Oh, the place we quit from! <gasps> this is the perfect time, actually. Weren't you the one saying we shouldn't do this on air? I'm just the host here. It's about my listeners. Stop dodging the question. You said you remember every caller, right? I want you to say what happened. I quit. Ah. You know, usually I'm all about honesty and shit. But we were assertive to her, so it... Seems like a crouching dog tactic to be like, Oh, I'm sorry, Lyra. Nah, you know what? It's the end of the world. Get your affairs in order. Be honest. We had a segment where we would cold call randos and try to convince them to start a fight. What? Most of the time it didn't work. It made people tune in for it, so why the hell not? And one day someone decided to do it. Someone got hurt. Badly. Everyone refused to tell me who it was, but it was you, wasn't it? I'm sure you knew that I was in the hospital for a bit. And I'm fine now. But I bet you didn't know that I was on the mend for months after that. And I couldn't do my job, so they let me go. I had no one to help me. Actually, we deserve to catch some flame for that. Do you know how much I hate you? I mean, who the hell approved that radio segment? I agree, Lyra. The show was a mistake, yes. Why did you- No, no. That was a mistake. We need to own up to that. What a shit thing to do. But then again, some people will do anything for viewers or listeners in this case. I was stupid. Okay. That segment was terrible. What else can I say? I wanted to make sure I got back at you. I wanted you to feel like shit for what you did. Well, mission accomplished. Oh, look at that goose. Mm. See, again, I said this in the last episode where I was like, sometimes the prompt will say one thing and then the actual conversation will steer off into another direction. 
be bitter. Yes, that's what I want to do right now. But the question is, who am I going to be bitter against? Her? No. Or me? Yes. <clears throat> this one won't help a bit. I'm going to take a chance and be bitter and then hope that he is bitter about him being a shit and not him being bitter at her. Fingers crossed. Well, you got me. Are you happy? Well, F and chat. I'm glad you admitted it, DJ. Yeah, you're welcome. I got my satisfaction. I can die happy. Bye, Lyra. Hey, y'all. Wanted to check in. Lots of alluding to things going around. Lots of uh, behind the scenes. Drama. I'm actually glad we got that out of the way. We got to admit that we were a bad person. So you're sitting there like, man, is DJ going to tell us the story? Right? Am I going to tell you the story? Am I going to tell you the story? Yes! Are you? You aren't. <clears throat> well, is this the time and place for it? Is this the way we want to go out with me telling a bad story? No, you know what? We need to move on. We admitted that we made a mistake and that it was a horrible thing to do. The person who we uh, wronged said, okay, I can die happy now. Let's leave it at that. No reason to drag this out and it won't make for good radio. We need to get back to the record playing. I, I can't. No, that's not Just what you were supposed to say. Don't crawl in a hole. We're going to take a break, okay? I don't have a song. Just what are you talking about? We have records over here. Stay tuned. I wish I could just confess, if only I was raised Catholic. First time anyone said that, thank god the radio's off. Ahem, howdy y'all, it's old DJ again. I had my little panic attack and feel all better. Anyways, here's Wonderwall. Fuck! I wanna hear some Wonderwall. No, ah. Ah, uh, just because of the F word. Um, out of y'all, it's old DJ again. I've had my little panic attack and it's all better. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Fuck. Ah, I thought you would put more ponders on that. I need to talk to someone. Please. Who's left that'll listen? Hello? <laughs> Richard Nixon? No one. Why would Richard, Richard Nixon be on the line? Do we have a phone line directly to him? Nobody. That's fine. No, don't go down this road. Ah, this was what I didn't want. On my old show, we had this stupid segment called High Blood Crush Lords or some shit basically we to be honest it sounds like a youtube prank life. channel well now you started it now i can't just be like and that's the end of the story ladies and gentlemen now we have to talk about it god dang it this job i was hurting for money my partner was paying all our rent it was mostly the station's idea. Um, I hadn't gotten anyone to fight yet, but I call. This girl picks up. Bad sign. Girls who listen to radio listen to true crime. I didn't recognize her voice tonight, but Lyra was our first caller to get in a real fight. No, 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 we need to accept blame. You, you crawled into this hole. 
because I told her to. Yes! Our fault. We were stupid. They put her in a hospital with a cracked skull. I made the 911 call. Oh, we, we were actually s slightly decent. The station wanted me to take the blame. So I did. They fired me. Wait, is that Richard Nixon? This guy? Try, try what? Keep it to yourself. I don't even know what we're talking about. Uh, keep trying. Don't ever give up. I hope that he's going to go on a spiel like you can make mistake and you can learn from them even though they're really bad mistake. You can grow up to be a different person that has learned from those mistakes, accepted the blame for them, and is now a different and better person. Right? Or is he going to be like, try volleyball, it's fun. I looked at the x-rays. They work. I can't. Boom. That was Thanks for letting try. Me. We tried really hard with that one. Back to our regularly scheduled program. I don't have any legs. I do have slippers though. Can we play some radio now? Can we do the decent? Now it works. No! I want to hear the fading colors. There it is. I want to hear this. You're just gonna hang on while I play the fading colors and listen to it and look at my canvas. A collage. What's the difference between a canvas and a collage? God, the music in this is good. This is gonna go up on the wall. Shut up! I'm listening to music. This is gonna go up on the wall. This is gonna go up on the wall. Shut up, phone, I'll be right there. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna keep the cracks to signify that there are cracks in our story. We're not perfect. None of us are. And that's okay. But what we can do is we can learn from those mistakes and we can better ourselves. And we can mend ourselves. Smack local with your host, BJ. Caller, please save me from myself. I'm reading this from a paper because I've got a bad concussion. We have firefighters. Tell us where you are. I don't know. I, I can't remember numbers. I'm gonna die. Be why would we be sarcastic? You haven't been around us long. We ain't giving up yet. It's not giving up, it's just putting things in order. 
A woman here knows your number. I can't remember numbers, not even hers, but but the woman here said she called in. Is her name Lyra? A, a Billy? The woman here with me in the jewelry store. It's Billy! Wait. Billy Casper. Billy! Please, just tell Lauren. I'm not telling her shit. What? When you can say it yourself. Oh, dear God, I thought you were. What's wrong? Do you know something about... Hi, love. Oh, my God. Billy. Tell her where you are, Lauren. I'm at home. Waiting for you. No. Don't wait. Get out. Don't. We we thought. DJ said. Don't put stay. this on me. I need to finish. Finish what? Is she all right? No. Of course she should listen. This might be their final moment. Billy, just think about Lauren and how you'll be safe soon. Got the radio number from a woman listening for the firefighters. Her mother's house. Not on fire. You're doing good, DJ. Something fell on us and we're stuck. No. I'm worried that something might fall on me soon. Just wanted to tell Lauren. Hey. Hey, no, don't talk like that. That's not allowed. The love of my life. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to be good enough. I couldn't even get a ring. Firefighters are on the way. Um. Get them closer seems obvious, but all, at the same time, maybe we shouldn't let her go. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it would be good to get them closer, and if something bad happens, I don't want uh, Lauren to, like, hear the... Yeah. Okay, deep breath. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. Nobody dies, sorry, but me. There's nothing that we can do. Hope. Marry me. I'm doing my best. No. She's saying right now. I want to be together. Grab a ring, baby. I'm with you forever. DJ, don't take too long on the ceremony. Me? They don't want you. Anyone else would be better. This one just sounds wrong in my ears. Call anyone. I think even whatever 911 operator answers your call would be a better pick. My dad won't answer my calls. Billy is trapped in rubble, just... I want to have a wedding, and I want someone to remember I was married. Come on. <laughs> it's good radio. Absolutely. Only because I already got ordained for a bit. Count yourselves lucky I used to have a stupid segment. I don't know how much longer I have, so... Quickly! You're gonna be okay, Billy. The firefighters are on the way. But I have an outline of a non-denominational wedding ready on my phone. Let's get married. Okay, darling? Mm-hmm. Okay. You both have your vows? Memorized. Concussion. Oh. Good enough. Ah, uh, fuck. I want to do a proper marriage for them. <clears throat> but I also want to make it quick in case anything happen. Let's make it quick. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today because there's nowhere else we can be. And because it's good enough. To celebrate Lauren Hill and Billy Casper, Rebel Wives. Let's see what we can do about a happy ending, huh? Ah, ah. No, some words right now would be good. Next is readings. I'm not up on my Shakespeare or 
if I have not spoken, it is because I am afraid I will wake from this dream. Almost. You don't like Austin. You do. Billy, my friend. Are there any rings fell on the ground? Ow, I uh, got one. Be careful. Hurry, I'm bleeding. Lauren Hill, do you take Billy Casper to be your lawfully wedded wife? In sickness and health. Billy Casper. Till death do us part. Your vows. I want to get to the I do's. They're too long. Just, what do you promise? Everything. Ditto. Lord. I do. But. I do. Then I pronounce you woman and wife. You may now. Billy, they're here. Can you yell for them, honey? I don't... Help! Help! I love you! She's alright. They're there. They'll find her. This is still the best day of my life. Ah, oh, fuck. No, Lauren's fine right now. Fuck this. No, don't say fuck this! It wasn't meant as like a fuck Lauren. Amina, if you don't... We got her, you bitch. Calm down. You... She's alright. Two goddamn seconds. We're getting her away from the building now. Tell her wife. I'm here. Well, your girl's okay. I gotta go. You hear that, Lauren? Lauren? Thank you, DJ. She's gonna be fine. Hang up. Get something to eat. Wait for Billy. It could be a while. You alright? My wife's coming home from work. What could be better? Okay, okay holy shit. Um... This game hit me a lot harder than I thought it would. <clears throat> Holy shit. <laughs> Can we just get some music and just calm down for a bit here? Anxious and yelly. When I'm gone. Well, spinning. Beat zombie. Methamphetamine? No. Aw, oh, back home. That sounds like the record right now. Whoa! Okay. That hit me really out of nowhere. <clears throat> Your wife is coming home, Lauren. And you'll be together. This is gonna go up on the wall. This is gonna go up on the wall. This is gonna go up on the wall. No, it's not. I'm not gonna acknowledge it. This is gonna go up on the wall. It's too big. Um, like this. No, not this. Oh my god. Fine. No, this one. Put that here. Oh, that's beautiful. Put that there. Oh, look at this. Oh, 
Uh, no. There we go. There we go. And I'm not gonna acknowledge this one. We are all about life here instead. Well, the plant is dead, so that was a bad... Uh... Uh, let's get rid of these two, maybe. No, it can be the... It's fine. Get rid of this one. Time to go mm, take a call. Hello! No, we already said our sorry. So what do you want? Lyra, look, I'm sorry. Please don't make it harder than it is. Want to clarify that? You clearly aren't a dick anymore. I've seen people think only about themselves out there. You help people when things went to shit. But in the end, I still hear the radio host that put me in the hospital. I can't see past that. I still hate you. And that's fine. How can I make it up to you? No, I don't want to make it up. Forgiveness matters so much. I mean, I do, but that's not what I it's important right now. You. I can help you now, Lyra. No, don't go that route. Make everyone happy. You, out of all people, should know this. Just. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. Most helping people at the end of the world. I think this conversation is over. We can go back to your usual programming. Uh, I feel like I chose badly with that one. Are you sure? No! I just to... wanted him to say, of course. Just One last song for me. me song. Bye, DJ. Bye, Lyra. It seems like it's not only gonna be the last song for Lyra, it's gonna be the last song overall. So what do we want? Luna? Well, that could be... Uh, Stranded in silence, fading colors, deaf and hungry, weekend people. So it's either stranded in silence or Luna. Let's go stranded in silence. That's uh, that's a bit. Uh, it's it's opposite of what we're experiencing right now. So maybe that's what people need. It's contrary. Yeah. This is a good song to end it all on. Hello? Oh! Yeah. I'm gonna put this off. Okay. Well, folks, I guess this is it. The end of the show, the end of the world, all that jazz. This is it. Feels kind of anticlimactic, huh? Definitely wasn't the bang I imagined I'd go out with. I guess I shouldn't complain. I succeeded, didn't I? I did the best that I could. I know I did. But I mean, that doesn't mean I'm okay with all this. And can you believe me? I guess I don't want things to end here, but. <laughs> well, what am I gonna do about it now? <coughs> Come on, DJ. We have to give a proper sign off. Seems my time is running out for today. And in all my wisdom, I'll leave you with this, listeners. I appreciate what you have. Yeah. We don't know what's gonna happen next for any of us. Nothing makes sense anymore, and, you know, that's all right. All we know is what's happening right here and right now. 
So make the most of what we have now. Hug your loved ones. Help who you can out. <laughs> Run a radio show. Just appreciate the little things that we have control over. That's it, man. That's everything I have. Let's do one last unscheduled caller section, huh? Smack local, open. Call DJ for rescue. Guys, guys, please. <coughs> Not all at once. I can take your calls, though. I can... I can... <sighs> Fine. I guess I dug my own grave on that one. Let's do a cheeky one. Let's leave on a happy note. And with that... I'm feeling saved, listeners. At least for tonight. Au revoir. Wow. I'm gonna be honest, when I headed into this game, I was expecting just like a short, like hour long, funky dory little adventure. This game hit me harder, way harder than I thought it would. It had me way more intrigued than I thought it would. That was actually a really fantastic game. And what a wonderful experience we just had. I don't feel like I did the best choices with all of them, especially how I ended up with Lyra on the last one. I That's not how I wanted it to go. But as I said, sometimes the prompt will have you thinking the conversation will go in one direction and then it will steer off into another. Um, but overall, I think we actually did good. And I was uh, pretty proud of that canvas I made. Or, or collage. Again, if anyone want to explain the difference down in the comment, please do so, because I'm stupid. But I'm also really glad I played this. And Amari McClendon, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. You have a great voice. You all do, but that one was really good. Um, so I think I will do what DJ did and just go out with a song. I don't really have any more words for this other than what a fantastic experience. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye!